Hello and a very good <coughs> morning to you all. I'd like to thank you again for listening to our little message this morning. This morning I am between uh, Coleraine and Articlave. And last Sunday, as I was doing my little message, I pulled in here and sometimes I have to <coughs> pull in and uh, to get signal so they can download my message and post it because the signal wouldn't be great out in Benown. And I pulled in here last week, just along the road here. That's the direction up there to Articlave. And I heard this noise. And here it was my little friend here in the field. I just wanted to know <coughs> that he was there. I wanted to say hello. And he might. There he is. He's, he's coming to say hello to you all. And you know, donkeys are wonderful animals. And donkeys are asses, as they're known also in scripture. You know, they're mentioned many times in the Bible, beginning in the book of Genesis and con continuing through both Old and New Testaments. And they are por portrayed as work animals or trans for transport and beasts of burden. In contrast to horses, they are represented only in the context of war, ridden by the cavalry uh, or pulling chariots. And you know, it was the Lord Jesus Christ who rode a donkey or an ass into Jerusalem. We have this in, in Matthew, but it's, it's referred back in the Old Testament in Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. We read there, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, he is just and ha having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. The prophecy was fulfilled when Jesus, the King of Kings, entered into Jerusalem, riding on an ass. We have this in Matthew chapter 21. And you know, just thinking about this, you know, I thought about this here. Even at the outset of the Lord Jesus Christ's life, he was given the outside place. He wasn't born into a five-star Ritz hotel. And, uh, you know, even at the end of his life, you know, his transport was a little donkey. And as you can see here, there's a little cross on the donkey's back. And the donkey, that would, <coughs> we reminded that Jesus rode into just on Palm Sunday. And the significance of Jesus riding on a don donkey was that he was coming in peace. And the Nubian donkey has a cross on his back because it was said that this breed of donkeys carried Jesus as he was on his way to Calvary, to Calvary's cross. And you know, this last few days and uh, the whole world is coming to terms with the, the loss of the Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II and the moment that the Queen died we heard the news then that automatically Prince Charles became the King and you know we have watched the television and as we will do God willing tomorrow uh, at the funeral of Her Majesty and our prayers and thoughts go out to the family uh, at, at this time as we know every one of us from the palace to the pauper Every one of us knows what it's like to lose a, a loved one. And if you have lost one recently or in recent days, our hearts and prayers, our thoughts goes out to you also. And we pray that God will comfort you at this time. You know, as we look, as, as I was thinking, and watching TV, you know, we see the king, and there is sitting a, the king of England about now, and uh, as they have been, the best of cars. The, uh, these thousands, these Bentleys, stretch Bentley limos worth thousands of pounds. And you know, whenever we come to Matthew 21, we read about the King of Kings, and at the end of his life, what did he have? He had, he had just a little, little donkey, like what we have before us here, and the Lord Jesus Christ, that's how he came in to Jerusalem. You can see the cross and it's back there the little donkey here. I remember my mum taking me down to see uh, a donkey beside us years ago I'll never forget it. We always went down often and a little donkey like this one would have come up to you. They're a very friendly creature and they come up and I think it was called Nettie at the time 
I don't know what the, this boy's called here, but a lovely little animal. And the Lord Jesus Christ, he was compassionate, he was meek and lowly. He came into Jerusalem riding lowly and a little and a little ass. And you know, it says the colt the fool of an ass. Now a fool needs to be broken in. I remember a late friend of mine, Derby Rankin, and Derby used to I remember him breaking in horses and you know you just didn't get on the first time. It took a few times before the horse was calm and let you sit in his back. But you know, the Lord Jesus Christ he got on this and the Lord Jesus Christ was you see he was the creator. He was the one the creator was the one who was in control. And that little colt and the ass took him into Jerusalem and he was on his way to Calvary and, and as he went into Jerusalem you know I read down from a Matthew chapter I think it's verse 10 or so if you read it for yourself Matthew chapter 21 the first book in the New Testament and we read when the Lord Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem there were those who said who is he who is he I thought that was sad you know it said they were they were sad and then they said who is he and you know whenever the king of England I'm sure it was through the different various towns. Everyone knows who it is. But how sad it was the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There were those who said, who is he? I wonder today, do you know him? Are you, like those who are saying, asking in Jerusalem, who is he? I want you to point him out to you today. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Son of God, the eternal Son of God who came with one purpose to go to Calvary. And he, he went into Jerusalem, the little donkey. And he went to Calvary's cross. And he was going there for one reason. To suffer and to bleed and to die. And as he entered into Jerusalem, that multitude of people had said that they, they, they pulled down branches and they, they strode them the way and they, they praised and they sang Hosanna in, in the highest. Uh, and they praised him. And a few days after it, it was the complete opposite. They said, as he went to Calvary, said away with this man we will not have this man to reign over us you know every time you hear the gospel and you hear those wor hear the words of the gospel and you reject the Lord Jesus Christ that's what you're saying away with this man I won't have this man to reign over me and you know uh, the Lord Jesus Christ he went to Calvary with that purpose to go and suffer and bleed and die and to complete the work that he came to do and you know, he always brought satisfaction to his father. And he went to Calvary and laid down his life voluntarily upon that cruel cross of shame. And it was for you, it was for me. It was for us that he hung and suffered there. You know, last Sunday as I thought about a little message, I was posting it and I've seen this little donkey here standing in the field. I couldn't help but think of, of my... Lord, he's going to speak to his mouth. He's going to speak to his mouth after he knocked it. And you know, I couldn't help but think about the Lord Jesus Christ and how he was willing to take his Behold, we got to Jerusalem, and they were taken, and he was the third day of the and that's why he was there to come. He took a place in the place, and he fell across the cross of shame, and that's, and that's why he suffered and bled and died for you and for me. He's just spread the night. <laughs> What a lovely little donkey.
trust that you'll have enjoyed a little message this morning and as a little doggy here spoke to you also and now he's showing you his teeth I, do, I, I got, pray that God will bless you this morning but remember the one who is the main object of the gospel the Lord Jesus Christ who rode into just from the little doggy to go to Calvary I trust that God will bless you this morning and that you will know him as your saviour by putting your faith and trust in him accepting you're a sinner and believing that Jesus died for you and trust the Lord Jesus Christ if you do you will be saved may God bless you this morning Thank you very much for listening.